Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Hopefully you've been doing well. 2023 has started off pretty amazingly for myself. I know that my friends and I have been working really hard to create Positive Space, which is a community that we built to help people find a space to be surrounded by growth-minded people. There are so many different things that we do throughout the week, as well as having our Zoom sessions where we connect with one another and everyone involved in the community. But I want you all to try it out. So follow the link down below, sign up. It's only $25 a month and I swear to you, it is worth $25. It is worth so much more than $25, but we are giving it to you for $25. So go check it out. And today's video is all about community. So I wanted to talk to you about the importance of community. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize that we form communities pretty much on a very regular basis. I know I personally have moved so many different times that I've had to kind of recreate community every single place that I've gone. And that helped me kind of realize some of the things that I use to kind of find community in new spaces. And that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is the importance of realizing what a community can give to you, what you can give to a community, and how it can kind of help you grow. I know that when it comes to creating community, a lot of times it's either like the LGBT community, part of a cultural community, where you kind of connect with people who have similar lifestyles to yours. It may be because of religion or your gender, or maybe it's something that you enjoy, like a sport or a hobby. I think that when it comes to creating community, a lot of people don't realize that maybe there's one thing that brings you together as a community, whether it's being a part of the LGBT community or enjoying a sport or a hobby. But that doesn't necessarily mean that everything else that that community is stereotyped as is going to align with you as a person. And I think that it's really important for people to realize that. I know that for me, I really connected with being a part of the LGBT community, especially when it came to being a part of the religious communities out there and not really aligning with what they considered Christian values at the time. And for me, I jumped ship and went over to the LGBT community because I'm gay and I really related to some of the struggles that that community faced. And I was like, there because I really realized that these people understood that part of me. But then I started to realize that I was falling into some of the stereotypes that weren't really me. And I think that's one thing that a lot of people don't realize happens when you join a community because as humans, we want to be accepted. We want to be a part of a community. We want to be connected with other people. And in a lot of those instances, we start to kind of disconnect parts of ourselves that doesn't really fit into the community that we are trying to be a part of. And that's something that can be really damaging to your self-worth. I know that personally, when it came to being a part of the LGBT community, I had to kind of put my religious beliefs on a back burner for the most part because it kind of made people in the LGBT community feel really uncomfortable. So I started to realize that maybe I don't really fit into all the stereotypes that are a part of the LGBT community. I had to kind of start to raise my voice and make people aware that there are parts of me that exist that don't align with the community's values as a whole. And that's when I started to realize that maybe uh, when it came to creating a community, I needed to create a community that was a little bit more based around my values as a person and celebrate the uniqueness of people within the community that didn't fall into the check boxes of the communities I was being a part of. So for me personally, I'm a huge nerd. For anyone who's followed me over the years, you know that Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Pokemon, those types of things were things that my childhood consisted of and I really enjoyed that. I'm also someone who loves reading as well as singing karaoke and doing fun stuff like traveling and hiking and camping. And all of those things are great, but don't necessarily align with everyone. So not everyone that is a reader enjoys hiking. 
but that's something that I enjoy. Not everyone that's part of the LGBT community enjoys being outdoors and doing things that I enjoy doing. So I started to realize that instead of jumping into a community and trying to change myself to fit in, I just needed to be my most authentic self and allow people to come and go as they please. And the ones that really vibed with who I was as a person were going to be the ones that stuck around. Now that I'm 34, almost 35 years old this year, uh, I've realized that I can create a community that really just sits well with who I am as a person. Right now, I'm part of a growth-minded community, which I'm trying to create over in the positive space area. But I started to realize that as a life coach, I am the type of person that enjoys growing and learning more about myself and the world around me. And when I started projecting that out into the world, I started to be surrounded by people who were very similar to me in that mindset. That didn't necessarily mean that we were the same ethnicity, the same gender, part of the LGBT community, all enjoyed hiking. We were a very diverse group of people, mainly because when it comes to self-growth and self-love, there's really no visual thing that we can look at someone and see, hey, that person is someone who wants to grow uh, themselves in the world. So for me, I started to realize that I just had to project myself louder to the world so that those types of people could see me because it wasn't such a visual thing, but something that was mental. And for me, when I started doing that, whether it was through my positive talks, whether it's through joining Clubhouse and connecting with people in rooms that were meant for growth, I started to build connections with people who then brought more people that connected to me in different ways. And I created a community that is just a beautiful space for people who want to discover self, who want to grow, who want to go towards their goals and have a group or a community of people to help them overcome any of life's challenges. And that's the type of community that I've built for myself. And within my community, I started to feel like things were really starting to get better in the world, but I didn't realize that I had just started attracting better things in my life. And I started to bring a community of people around me that were so similar in the way that I wanted to live in life, that that's kind of the life that started to exist around me. And that's what I want other people to realize as well. The more authentic you are, the more vulnerable you are with who you want to be, the more you're going to attract people that align with those values and thoughts. So for any of you that are watching this video, hopefully you have found a community where you feel connected and they don't drain you or make you feel lesser than. They empower you to move towards your goals. But if you haven't found one of those communities yet, I am building a community in positive space on the Heartbeat app for people who are interested in connecting with me in that way. So if you're interested, please feel free to follow the link below, become part of positive space so that we can connect. I can introduce you to all the people in my community and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.